we finally got one UI on the Samsung Z Fold 6. Check it out. I'm Mark, and this is GOT, and we're going to cover the new and improved Z Fold 6 with the new operating system, and we're going to compare it to some of the other foldables of today. Let's go. So with the Z Fold 7 right around the corner, it's about time they finally updated the Z Fold 6. We now have Android 15 and Samsung's One UI on the Z Fold 6. Now I've had it on the S25 Ultra since its inception, so I've gotten to know it a little bit. And, and the Z Fold 6, now having the new OI, has really started to catch up with the other foldables. So now taking a quick look here at the front main screen, we have the large folders on the OnePlus Open, the Honor Magic V3, and now on the Samsung Z Fold 6. All you gotta do is you hold and press, and you can say enlarge. And it, now you've got the larger folder. Of course, not as large as the others, but that's because it's a narrow screen. So everything on this is gonna be a bit more narrow. Now I think that everything we see now on the Z Fold 6 is gonna be a shadow of what we're gonna get on the new Z Fold 7 with the exception of being a larger external and internal screen. So that'll be nice. Now, Samsung is about six months late in the game. These other two had Android way back in November of last year, and the Z Fold 6 just got it this week, at least for me. Some people might've got it last week. But anyway, six months later, and they were holding it off to be able to release the One UI 7 along with it. Now, what's interesting is, it just came out, and now they're talking about releasing One UI 8 and Android 16 with the new Z Fold 7, which will be out in a couple months. So I'm guessing Samsung realizes that they got way behind in the game, and they're going to try and play catch-up. So now that it does have Android 15, like the rest, it seems to be about the same. But is it any smoother? Let's see here. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't seem to be any smoother even than the OnePlus Open. They all pretty much feel the same. The one difference between the three is the OnePlus Open has a slower chip. It has the 8 Gen 2 chip in it, where these other two have the 8 Gen 3. And do I feel any more performance with the One UI 7? No, not really. Except that now I can get to things a little bit faster just by simply clicking on the app there, not having to open up the folder, which is really nice. And I guess this wants to update now to, to work with Android 15 and of course One UI 7. So I'll go ahead and let that update. So with One UI 7 on the Z Fold 6, all it really did is allow for us to have Android 16 because, you know, we've had these stackable widgets before, just like you have on the Honor Magic V3. We have stackable widgets. So now, and we've had them on the Z Fold 6. So that actually didn't come with any updates. The only thing that I use on a daily basis that was really noticeable is the folders. Let's go ahead and look at a couple more features that are truly welcome to finally get those on the Z Fold 6. You know, on all these other phones, you can actually scroll through the app drawer horizontally just by doing this. Well, on the Z Fold, it was all side to side, not anymore. Now you can scroll horizontally on the Z Fold 6. And not only that, it's a really nice feature. Look at both of these, the search is at the top when you go into there. And on the Z Fold, they put the search on the bottom, which is the same thing they did on the S25 Ultra, which is really nice. So let's say you go into the app drawer and the search bar is right there on the bottom. You click on it and you continue typing. Where on these others, you have to reach up to get to that bar. Not a big change, but a nice welcome one. Now, another thing that you can do on the Z Fold now is, let's go ahead and open it up. That way you can see it in a large screen. Is with the control panel, you can customize it. In other words, you hit this pencil that puts you in the customization mode and you can move these controls anywhere you want. Like I like to have the brightness a little further up and same with the sound so that when you get into it, you can adjust it and don't have to dig for it. So that's a really nice feature. You can move any of these, any of these controls around where you want them. So that's about where I want it. And you can hit done. And of course, if you want to, you can slide down and get controls on this side. Or if you slide down on this side, you get all your news feeds or I mean notifications. So that's a really nice feature. Then of course, we already talked about the enlarging app drawers, which is great to have. And now we have something that's called the Now Bar, and it's been on the S25 Ultra and I really enjoyed it. And now we have it here on the Z Fold 6. Let's say you're playing something like, let's open up my YouTube music. I enjoy doing that. I've got the volume turned down so we don't get any strikes here. Now I've got the music playing in the background and notice right here on top, is a little pill. 
kind of reminiscent of Apple and the way they do things. It's right there. It's playing it in the background. You can pause. You can move to the next one. You can move back, play, whatever you want to do. Tap anywhere on the screen, it goes back up in the corner. So that's a really nice feature. And you can see it's playing there. Now, let's say, for example, I got a timer going. So turn on this clock and we're going to do a stopwatch and we'll get it started. So the stopwatch is in the background. It should also be up here. Let's do this. See, it's up there and you can just swipe back and forth. Oh, I just closed them off. Oops. That's not what I was trying to do. Let's see what happens here. Let's open this up. Let's start this plan again and let's go ahead and open up the stopwatch. Once again, it, it's still going. So you should be hit here and there's the stopwatch. Do you scroll up? Okay, there you go. Switch back and forth. So it's not very consistent across the UI. So that's kind of interesting. You have to slide up and down to switch on there, but on the widget, you go back and forth. You can't slide up and down on the widget. So I wish they would be a little more consistent there. And now let's say you go ahead and you close your phone and it's off. If you could see down there at the bottom, you've got the now playing right there on the lock screen. So you can see what's going on and I could pause it. No, I can't. I have to unlock it. No, it paused and play. It's just a little bit finicky or delayed. Play. There we go. Or pause. Okay. It has to be lit up for it to work. So you can actually control it right there. And let's see, does it show? There's the timer going. So you can actually do it without opening the phone. So that's pretty slick. And right there where that now playing is, you can get a daily brief when you open up your phone for the first time in the morning or you pick it up it'll have a daily brief there you can click on it it'll tell you the weather and maybe some of the top news and you can set whatever you want on there i showed that on the s25 ultra a while back so now that feature is on the z fold 6 so that's just a couple added features with the one ui that i noticed right away and that i typically use daily on my other devices now there's a, a lot more features to one ui 7 available if you want to go watch shane craig he goes some really good step-by-step -step tips on all the different features to One UI. If you want to check that out, go check out his channel. So those are just a couple of things that I really noticed right away on One UI 7 and that I think are very usable. Now the phone, again, is still a little narrow for me. However, I think this shadowing, what we're going to get with the Z Fold 7, I think it's looking pretty good because with the larger screen on the inside and out and a thinner phone, I'm really looking forward to seeing how that Galaxy Z Fold 7 pans out. If you're looking forward to it or if you've tried One UI 7, let me know what you think down in the comments. I'd like to hear from you. If you want to see some more GOT videos, check out this one here. Until next time, God loves you.